my god! <laughs> Hey, this is Next Meridian. We are Nick and Mathilde and we left everything behind to travel the world with our Land Rover Defender, Albatross. Three years, seven continents, 88 countries and just the road as a home. Hot chocolate and walk for our first day back together, only together. Yeah. And in front, we have that big rock we camped by six years ago. Desert, noun, a dry, barren area of land, especially one covered with sand that is characteristically desolate, waterless and without vegetation. Not a very inviting program from the outset, but if this week taught us something, it is that there is much more to find in the desert than the promised desolate and emptiness. But in all honesty, as we escaped the call of Utah Highlands, we were seeking warmth. We eventually found it, but in many more ways we anticipated. Let us bring you to our very own seven wonders of the desert. Ooh, someone is in a situation we would not like to be in. We could help it elbow, but... And they have help already. they have already two cars helping. If they really need, why not, but... Do you think they wanted to camp as close as possible from the water? Day one, we rescue a Toyota. So, we are still going down to see if they need any help. Uh, they already have two winches pulling. I guess with us it will be three and maybe him four, I didn't really understand. No, no, we would be the third one. It's so deep, it's even more impressive from here. So we got the full story now. Those there are six cars. They came at night time yesterday and they didn't see this this ground was just getting soft. Like there was a like thick layer but under it was just like water. And so six stack they got five out during the night which is pretty impressive now they just like need us just as an anchor and they'll see if they need an extra winch directly on the car but pretty crazy yeah okay i might have exaggerated a tiny bit when i said that alba rescued a toyota but we were there and isn't it a wonderful thing toyota and land rover owners hands in hands working together we're dead. And there was, there's no way to like dig around the tires. I mean, yeah. I guess you guys it's tried all night. It's in, yeah. Ah, okay. Apparently, he like cassé son rear axle. Ah, ouais. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Day two, we found the condor. Little lunch break at Marble Canyon. We've never seen this one, so we're quite happy. So enorm. What is this? Doesn't move though. Does it move? So we just went uh, in the visitor center to ask about the bird on the bridge and it seems to be the condor, like the famous condor, American condor. So I'm going to check out again if the guy is still here. She's saying they're not always here, but once in a while, like there's a few that like stop on the bridge. So it's so cool, I'm so happy. It's such a like symbolic animal, like emblematic animal of the, of the area. 
The condor is one of the world's largest and rarest birds. He has a wingspan of 9 to 10 feet. They can live up to 60 years. They are rare and only have been reintroduced in this area recently. It was a gift to find it on this bridge. Day three, we find warmth, actual temperature warmth. Minus six this morning, again. Uh, hopefully that is going to be the last freezing run of this part of the journey. We're due to Tucson, Arizona this afternoon and I can't wait to have warmer temperatures. After days in the cold, it felt amazing to actually be able to enjoy the time outside without freezing. What is the temperature now? 20. 20? We've been waiting for this moment. For a while. And it just, Nick was explaining me that we went down in elevation so much. So finally we should reach better temperatures from now on. First dinner outside in several weeks. That is really nice. We put on the different stuff. Feet are out, chairs are out, sunset is on. Day four, encounter with the saguaros. We knew those giant cactuses were the cliche emblem of that region. But meeting them was a totally different experience. Those cactus have souls. We have a new passion for the saguaro cactus. They are so cool and it looks like different type of humans with different personalities. They're just amazing. So this guy here has a focus disorder. Doesn't know where to give his energy. Those two look like they're dancing. He's saying, high five! High five! High five, dude! Fun fact, uh, they can grow up to 12 meters high and, up to, and live up to 150 years. Um, and they'd grow their first little arms between 75 and 100 years, so... Day 5. We end up in a plain boneyard. Ramon, who invited us in Tucson and at whose place we spent three days, is a passionate former photographer and pilot who created a job around his passion. We're with Raymond and Nick and we're going for a little air and space adventure and it's going to be fun! Woo! And he brought us with him on one of his storage sites. Thanks a lot Raymond for this amazing experience. Take step on the wings and stuff like that? Yeah, you're fine. Go for it. To either dismantle aircraft, uh, they'll regenerate the aircraft. Some actually are, are brought over here, they'll come out of storage and uh, from there they'll actually get it airworthy again. They pull yeah. all the coverings off of it, put fuel in it, put fluids in it, and then they'll do their test runs here, check out the engines, and then they'll fly it out. So Raymond explained that many of those planes are used for spare parts. Basically companies would just keep them here and whenever they need something for a, flight that, a plane that is currently flying, they would just call those guys, they would unmount whatever they need and then um, ship it. Then others are uh, sent out to museums. Yeah. So they'll cool. take the wings off, like, like that one there, um, and they'll disassemble it and then they'll put it on a trailer and drive it to a museum. This is really, really cool. 
this is a once in a lifetime type of experience, huh? Thanks, Raymond. Maybe this could be our new house. Transform this thing in a house. Wouldn't <laughs> that be cool? It would be awesome. All right, let's fly. <laughs> Fuel sample record and you have the dates. So last one that I filled in were in 1982. The January 27th, 1982. Don't break anything, huh? <laughs> and so this is a tiny bit more complex than our TD4 engine, but that's basically a plain engine. So this guy, this entire thing, goes into those big things. <laughs> wow. uh, so this particular aircraft is uh, a P3 Orion. Uh, it was flown by the US Navy and this was a submarine hunter so during the cold war they were used to hunt uh, soviet submarines and any other adversary that uh, we had at the time uh, they have four engines and they could stay um, aloft for quite a few hours i mean okay. the range was uh, fairly significant and they flew very low to the ocean because in the back there's a long boom that comes out and it's called, or it's designated MAD, and it's a magna magnetic anomaly detector. Ah, that's how they found the submarine. Yes. Uh, and it's only getting better, I tell you. Now we're on the roof of a NASA, a retired NASA plane, that was doing high altitude pictures. So basically the ancestor of satellite imagery. Uh, it's huge. And then underneath, ooh, jets. And underneath you have this like panel that hope opens where they could actually put the camera to take pictures. So cool. Where, where would you like it? That it's side. on this side. So tradition, we meet people with stickers. I'll get it. Wait. Put it here. Okay. Yes. There you go, guys. Bonne Sweet. safari. <laughs> it's on the car. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> That's okay. terrible. It was amazing. Thank you, Ramon. You're very well. It was the best time. Awesome. Yeah, it was really a cool time, and we'll keep in touch for sure. Sounds good. And if we have anything like you said yeah. yesterday, then we're here to help. And yeah. if you guys want to come travel and we're on your route, let's do a few days yeah. together. We'd love to come visit. Yeah. Oh. That's it, we said goodbye to Ramon. It was so nice. The last two days were really cool. We reset entirely, cleaned the car, we sewed our like, clothes. He showed us so many interesting stuff. Now let's go for Thanksgiving. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to do a little interruption in our review of the seven wonders of the desert. A special program requires our attention. Amazing! So, it's the second half of France versus Denmark and I was like, oh god, it's happening right now! Let's at least watch the second half. So we put the iPad on Wi-Fi. Boom! And the moment we turned it on, Mbappé scores. My god, yes! <laughs> Let's see. 2-1! So good. So now we go back to our usual program, which is traveling. Driving through the desert. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the inter interruption. Yes, yes, yes. We're that kind of people. We did interrupt our trip to watch friends playing in the soccer World Cup. That's it. We can go again. <laughs> Thank you.
Day six, we meet Mad Max. Just now we were driving and uh, on the left side of the road, there was this uh, gravel parking and I see this car with this guy sitting next to it. And I told my told look at the car. And uh, we're gonna go back to it now because I turned around. It looked like a Mad Max car. So we turned around and Jeff kindly showed us around his car then we showed him our car. And you said you were a mechanic and your father was a... Uncle. Okay, my grandfather was a machinist. A machinist. He taught me a lot of things. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that one we're looking at Jeff's car. Look at this. I mean, he's got this massive air intake so that he can get all the power. You built that so yourself, he right? He built everything himself. Yeah. And so you said this was a truck engine, right? Yeah. So it's... It's, unkillable. It, it's gasoline, but it's truck. It's truck. Yeah. When did you start working on this car? 20 years ago. Oh, cool. Wow, <laughs> it's been with you a while. And I love it how, look at this. It's got all these magnets. Yeah, that is so cool. Tools are, yeah. are somewhere. I love that your tools are. The screwdrivers are in here. And look at all these uh, attachments that he yeah. built. Like tr oh my God. <laughs> It's splendid. Look at these. So he was explaining that he was getting rocks from uh, trucks driving by, and he was like, I'm not changing the windshield every so often, so I'm just gonna build this. And so now all the flies and the rocks and whatever <laughs> comes are. Most of them go up. Most of them go yeah. up. Yeah. Every now and then we got a little hit the other day. Yeah. But it didn't hit that hard because the air current is ahead of the windshield. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. It okay. So it will pull something up, so it slowed it down. So I'm going this way, you know, like yeah. that. But it still hit the window, but it didn't crack it. This is how Jeff's car looks from inside. Look at all these cables and all these little units and sensors and information gauges that he's got here. Fans, it's, you know, everything. It look at that. <laughs> exhaust. It is the yeah. exhaust? Yeah, that is. Oh, I love but it. you brought it here for the style of it? or? No, okay. <laughs> I used to be a painter. Okay, Spraying cool. and epo epoxies. Okay. Um, Emron, boat paint. Yeah. Really heavy chemicals. Okay. I got sick okay, oh. from the paint. Yeah. Okay, I've been sensitive to anything that's toxic, like carbon monoxide or yeah. anything, right? Yeah. Okay. I was getting migraines almost every week. Oh, no. I couldn't figure out why, oh. even if I didn't work. I had migraine. I'd lay in the aye, car aye. and throw up. Well, I took the exhaust out of the back and on the side and all that, stuck it up here. And all those migraines went away. <laughs> that little engine up there yeah. is like a sewing machine. Yeah. <laughs> you can't destroy that thing. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> you go anywhere in this. That thing sounds. I mean, I, okay, I had a, I had a little straight six. It sounded just like that. That's like that. But it had the torque and the power of that car needed, yeah. and that's what you got in here. So we'll see you later. Yeah. Bye, bye bye. Bye bye, Jeff. <laughs> Take care. Day seven. We're grateful. Right now we're on our way to one of our Patreon's house. Uh, his name is David, and uh, we've been invited. Uh, to celebrate Thanksgiving with him and his family and I also think his friends and so uh, we are extremely excited to go join them for this Thanksgiving celebration day it's gonna be a lot of fun so right now we're going it's around now it's 11 15 so we're gonna go help them finalize the cooking and then at 3 p.m. we're gonna go to his sister's house to, uh, to celebrate it all so this is gonna be a lot of fun we can't wait It's the sweet potatoes? Toast, yeah, sweet potatoes. crumble kind of thing. Like a jam. And you made that yeah. bread too? Mm -hmm. Wow, amazing. But everything is homemade. Yeah, everything is homemade. Yeah. And this one is gravy. Uh, gravy. Yeah. Spoon and jam. Cranberry sauce. I got everything wrong, okay. Cranberry <laughs> sauce. <laughs> I'm sorry.
<laughs> nice. The 200 TDI of David is really cool and he sewed everything himself um, and welded the bump back bumper on his own. So it's DIY but super cool DIY. Hey Lucky! We got David and Jane's sticker and it's really nice. Look at this. They've got two versions of it, but this one is really nice. David from Wrong Side Road Trip, our Patreon and also the Fender fan. Wow. He's just stuck his beautiful logo. David, uh, he was our Patreon since two months, a month? Yeah, a month or two. A month or two. Yeah. And uh, he wrote to us saying, hey, you guys are doing an awesome trip. If you come down towards Arizona, uh, please come over because we're going to be Thanksgiving the 24th make it 24th of November if you can make it it would be perfect today we're the 24th of November we're here we ate awesome turk. turkey oh, yeah, probably too much we ate a lot of turkey <laughs> and tons of great food they cooked everything it was an awesome meal we tried out his 200 defender TDI defender from 92 93 93 and now we're gonna go test drive Albo. so I'm gonna give off the keys and honestly thanks a lot for inviting us it was such Any a cool time. moment so good to yeah. have you and the family was great how's the car it's good. <laughs> it drives like a car. It sounds like a car. Unless, I mean, when you're used to the 200 TDI, which is like a tractor, yeah, this is like a much more, a proper much car. more civilized Defender, if you can even say it. Yeah, right. Civilized, more <laughs> modern Defender, but very heavy, you're saying, yes. and very shaky. So you can feel shaky. it on speed humps. And yeah. You feel it kind of going like a, like a couch. Like you get a little bit more sway when you go around the car. Yeah. So nice. You feel the top kind of Welcome to California, but we are in California, our last state of the US. Yep. Actually, if you turn left, I'll have another sign to film and to show. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. Yes, we are in California, and in next episode, it's our last days in the USA. We show you the meetup with our followers and we cross to Mexico. If you don't want to miss the rest of the journey, subscribe to the channel and see you next week. Check.